Hey everyone, it's Sue here. I'm working in my journaling Bible and I am following along with Rebecca Jones, Rebecca R. Jones, um, who has a Facebook group called the Bibling Art Journal Challenge. And I am working in Matthew 5, verses 14 through 16, which speaks about us being the light of the world and that our light has to shine before others here in this world. And, you know, all the glory um, goes to our Father in heaven. So that's the verse that she has for, or verses, um, for um, her week number 30. And what I've done so far is I gessoed the page with my clear gesso, my art basics. And I so far I use these two colors of pan pastel. Um, so we have yellow ochre and Hansa yellow shade. And I just blended it with the pan pastel tool. So I hope you can see that okay. I know it's a little it's getting a little bit dark. Um, it's getting a little bit later in the day, so it's a little bit dark. Um, so what I did was I put a lot of the more yellow color on this side, the the little bit greener color over there. I did stamp um, with another yellow with a stamp that I actually carved myself, which was easy. But I just wanted to get a little bit more of a pop there, and then I'm just going to take this little piece and finish up that sun right there but to represent the world um, that we live in I have this napkin and it was given to me by a wonderful lady by the name of Roz who lives in Australia and um, I pulled out this piece right here of the napkin and I'm using my Liquitex matte gel and I'm going with matte because I really don't want this to be shiny at all. Otherwise, I would be using my my um, my Mod Podge, which I love. I love Mod Podge, but that's not the look I'm going for here. So, as most of you probably know, that when you use um, a napkin and you know what, I want that over just a little bit. Let me see if I can get it off. When you use a napkin and some, some type of a gel medium, um, it actually, when you put the gel medium on the top, like this, it becomes a bit translucent. Now, I'm not really expecting to be able to read the words perfectly, but I do expect to be able to... Um, to see them somewhat and it looks like I can so that is good So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish putting this down And I like the way that looks what I do when I use a napkin or really even if I was collaging um, you know using paper um, what I would do is um, like take the um the edges of whatever it is I am collaging and tear it. Sorry, I don't have my my other heat tool over here. That is a bit quieter, but I just want to give this a little pop with the heat tool. Um, that's it, just to get that real, real wetness off of there. So I'm just going to go ahead. I just have a piece of deli paper in between the two pages. Just just because, just to protect the pages underneath. Um, so, at this point, I can cut off the excess napkin. I'm going to do it real gentle, or slow, I should say, because I don't want to cut the Bible page. Um, so I'm just going to go a little bit here. And then a little bit down here, and it'll be all nice and clean. And then I'm going to go back to the other side. So at this point, this is what I have. And again, it's talking about being the light of the world. So, you know, light to me, obviously, the sun gives us sunlight. 
So um, I'm taking some of my Elmer's glue and putting it on this. I think it's supposed to be a flower, but it looks like a sun to me. And that's really it. I think what I might do, let me lift this up so you can... I'm sorry it's so dark. I apologize. Um, I should see about maybe putting another lamp over here if I can. So, so this is the light. This is the world. And, you know, we are supposed to be the light of the world. So, you know, what I would hope is that, you know, whether you're working or in school or uh, you just hang out with friends, that you try to to feed, to um, discuss with them the Word of God and, and that He... He loves all of us, right? So, um, and he wants us to have a relationship with him. But certainly head on over to the Bible Art Journaling Challenge uh, Facebook group. And you have to see what Rebe Rebecca did and everybody else over there. Um, but this is my this is my finished page for week number 30. Um and I just wanted to show you, I believe this is week 28. So let me just go take a peek here. So what does Proverbs mean to me? I, I did this back um, on July 16th, and today is August 8th. So I've had it done for a while. I just, uh, with work, you know how it is sometimes. It's just been a little crazy. So this is what Proverbs means to me. Um, I went through my, uh, oops, sorry, my words that I use for collaging. Um, but I did take my, um, my pit pens and I wrote the word guidance. And I had the ampersand inspiration at every step. That's what the book of Proverbs means to me. I put some bling, some little hearts and, and such around. And, um, and this particular, this over here is, was on a stencil. I had done another page. And, oh, you know what? I didn't use my pit pens for, for this word guidance. I used these zig pens, which I actually got at... Tuesday morning. Uh, no, I got them, I'm sorry, at Amazing Savings for $1.99. Um, so this here, it's kind of like eggshells egg within paint. And what I did was I took um, some, well, I'll show you what I took. I took some of this Liquitex blended fibers texture gel and I mixed Dina Wakely paints with it look at that yumminess oh my goodness and this was a couple weeks ago and it's still looking beautiful I mean I could still finish it up but that particular um th these fibers this here um it feels and looks like eggshells but like I said, I had used a stencil on another uh, art journal page, and I took that stencil and I just, you know, flipped it over and pushed it down. And you can, I'm going to hold this up here, and you can actually see, and you can feel how rough it is. But, so this was week 28, and then I showed you week 30, and... I have to go do week 29 now, and I think I'm missing one more week, 31, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and um, do some more pages. Definitely check out Rebecca. She is on YouTube as well, Rebecca R. Jones. And let me know if you have any questions about Bible journaling or journaling, or, you know, if you are looking for a relationship with God, let me know. I'll see what I can do for you, how I can help you, how I can guide you. You know, it's all about him. It's not about me. So have a blessed day and um, a blessed week, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.